Here in the Philippines, we are so used of the sachet, the small packages for a hundred million people, for 7,107 islands, we contribute to this uh, solid waste problem. We, every single individual in the province contributed about half kilos of uh, trash on a daily basis. We have three million populations here, so imagine how huge the, the trust that can be, you know, contributed a lot for this kind of the, the problem that we are now, we are now facing off. I live here, so when when the flash flow, uh, water flow here, the garbage is, is in flow in the water. I really wasn't expecting that much garbage. So just to explain, it was you wouldn't be able to see the ground anymore because it was just covered completely uh, with garbage. I was motivated to start the Let's Do It Philippines because of the inspiration I got from Estonia that how they be able to mobilize um, the citizens to clean up their country. A very interesting person came to my office, he was Art, and then he introduced this wonderful program to us about Let's Do It and well it doesn't need a lot of introduction anyway. I mean, when he said it was about um, doing cleanup and part of our, uh, part of, you know, helping the environment, there's not really much to sell. I mean, it says it all. So after he said that, then he pitched in the idea of let's do it together, volunteers to do cleanups around the world. Immediately we wanted to be part of it. Uh, clean up is already a regular activity in our lives here in Negros. Uh, we integrated it in our advocacy programs. And uh, let's do it, converge all the people in, not only in the world, no? specifically at to the barangay level, the smallest uh, sector of our community. The movement of the LDI is, it's more of getting more individuals involved. So. Uh, you can do things individually, but if you want to be heard, you want to send a message out, then you do it as a group. You do it together. So we are offering a solution that's creative, solution that's about working together, uh, solutions that is long term, and we have to do it now. this uh, organization in which uh, we gather youth, uh, mostly out of school youth here in our municipality and then the let's do it, we tap it so that we give them seminars regarding our environment and then this is it. <laughs> with the help of the youth, with the help of our barangay officials and the people living in this barangay, we tap the let's do it. Various organizations are going to be distributed to different locations so when there is um, a go signal you're going to clean up together and then you're going to be part of the whole movement. Because we know that without the community, uh, we, will, we cannot do everything. We, can, we cannot do uh, things for the environment. Because at, at the first moment, or the, our frontliner is the community, the people in the grassroots level. Yes, for the sake of those uh, children who are around, and dirty. This is one of their surrounding of our constituent will be clean, so that there will be no sickness in our yes. 
We would like it to be more cleaner uh, to help also our fellow Filipinos to live nicely here in near the beach. But I also hope that they would help us like keep it clean. Not just every year that we come here that we clean it up, but they also have to maintain it to be clean. Uh, we are cooperating and we are doing this uh, yearly. Uh, as part of the program the Philippine National Police and as part of our commitment uh, to save our Mother Earth and to preserve the environment, uh, not only in fighting crimes. So it's, uh, it was very successful. We were able to retrieve uh, many garbages uh, during our operation. Plastics, bottles, everything that they could uh, at uh, food stops. So it was very uh, at, at least we were we were able to retrieve at least uh, at least nine sacks, nine sacks of garbage. We still continue to learn from a lot of people, and uh, we do cooperate with a lot of programs like this. Yesterday we also had the uh, postal cleanup. And we do this religiously every year. And now it's the first year with uh, Let's Do It Philippines. Then uh, we will be con continuously doing this, just like what we've been doing with uh, our coastal, uh, coastal cleanup, what we have been doing every year. For sure, everyone is looking forward for the next year with a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of participation, because we have shown with a less funded uh, campaign started with the grassroots started with friends and solving these uh, issues on illegally dumped solid waste. Uh, well, after the cleanup, definitely there's still going to be garbage. It's something that we can't really change. But what can change is the ideas of, um, of the people who are, who are participants of this event. And they're probably more uh, proactive in their stance to taking environmental action. And I think that's what's more important. Uh, I think it it's a part of advocacy, so it's going to change also the mindset of us Filipinos. I mean, when you talk about loving your country, you have to do steps to take care of it. That's what's important. Um, change in the mindset, change in the heart. We don't stop there. The, the education is still go on until the, the change that we are hoping for, uh, we can get that. No? So after LDI, it is not only a change in our province, also the country and all over the world because we can show to the world that we are not uh, a dumping site, we are cleaning our country. A one day clean up okay, could not contribute strategically on the economic side and political side of the province, but it can be generated of raising their awareness and providing some institutional uh, requirements, uh, support from the local government. It can be, it can be uh, contributed a lot for the next generation of the people that have been living here. The biggest challenge is really, like, LDI can do this every year. Um, we will help them in terms of making sure that there's proper segregation. And we'll help them by saying, okay, this is how it's supposed to be segregated. We can make infographics for them. Um, you know, me and my dad, we've already talked about we can point them to the right direction on how to segregate it, but really the solution for all this garbage problem is it really starts in the home. It really starts in the home. So if, if a household doesn't know how to segregate, if a, a household does not try to reduce their garbage, we're always going to have a garbage problem. So a program for um, segregation at source, recycling, has to be there because this change of mindset, behavior, and trash is not just automatic. It has to be, it has to be lived. So it's not just one day event, it's every day. Uh, consistency, persistency, until we solve this together. So I invite everyone, 2018 is our great day for the Let's Do It world. And every year on the third Saturday of September, um, we are putting the National Clean Up Day. So that's our commitment to the Let's Do It world.